Well, good morning. Welcome, everybody. Hallelujah. Uh, we just wanted to say uh, good morning. We want to welcome you. Happy Sunday morning. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. And we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. Amen. All those of you that are welcome, we want to welcome you, all those of you that are joining us uh, by audio and video. All we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive, amen, and put a smile on your face. God wants to love on you, amen, and he just wants to uh, encourage you, amen. Bienvenidos a todos que me escuchan por audio y video. Preparen a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. If you don't think he's got something for you, then we need to pray for you and you need to get saved, <laughs> amen, because God put you here for a reason, amen, yeah. and he put you here to succeed. He put you here to be a winner and be a champion and fulfill what he's called you to do. Yes. Amen. He's got a call on your life. He's He's anointed you. Amen. He's equipped you with everything that's needed. So if you don't feel that way, all you need to do is say, Lord Jesus, I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Amen. Receive him as your yes. Lord and Savior. And he's going to put you to work. Amen. Yes. Amen. Praise God. We're going to, as a matter of fact, that's one of our key scriptures. You know, Jesus came to serve, not to be served. Amen. So if he can do it, and he's our greatest example, we <coughs> to imitate him, and we're here to serve. Amen. Amen. Ooh, come on now. Mm -hmm. Don't cut me down because I'm preaching good. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Father. He wants to bless you. I've got a few yeah. things that I need to read at you, but uh, just remind me. Amen. So praise God. Grab your Bibles, church, and say it like you mean it. Amen. Yeah. If you don't have a Bible, get you one. Amen. You know, the first time I went to the thrift store. You ever been to the thrift <laughs> store? Go get you one. One that you can write on. One that you can highlight. One, one that you can just personalize. Yeah. And this is God talking to you. Amen. This is Amen. my Bible. That's what it says. This is my Bible. I am what it says I have. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be talking the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. In Jesus' name. Amen. Leave it there. Leave it there, Carmen. Say it. I boldly confess. My spirit is receptive. My mind. My mind is alert. Yes. Amen. The Bible says the battlefield is the mind. Yeah. Amen. So you're going to get all these thoughts, you know, but guess who, who's responsible? I'm responsible for clearing it up. Mm -hmm. Amen. You, how do you clear it? How do you clean it up? With the Word of God. Renew your mind with the Word of God. Amen. You feed your spirit. You feed your spirit the Word of God and you renew your mind with the Word of God and your flesh <laughs> You crucify. <laughs> you just say, line up with the word of God. Amen? Amen. Line up with the word of God. But listen, my spirit is receptive. My spirit is receptive. And you just yeah. got to, if you're feeding your spirit and you're renewing your mind, yeah. your body has to receive as well. Right. Amen? <laughs> Come on now. Right. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Uh -huh. This is positive. Amen? This is positive. I am what it says I am. And I have what it says I have. And I can do what it says I can do. So it's time we stop listening to all these lies. The Bible says the truth is going to set you free. The word of God is going to set you free. Yeah. When you start confessing what the word of God says. Yes. And we're going to be talking about that here in a few minutes. Amen. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. I ain't preached already. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, let's take up the offering now. <laughs> 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 hey, I am excited. Amen. I don't know about you. But, uh, well. Whew. Staying passionate for God. Staying passionate for God. You have to stir yourself up. Amen. Sometimes nobody's going to do it for you. <laughs> Amen. But you have to keep yourself stirred up. So stay passionate for God with an attitude of gratitude. Amen. Amen. God wants us to love, to come. You can write these down. Amen. Amen. <laughs> if you're not taking notes, you should. Mm -hmm. You know. And you know what? I just want to pray and ask the Lord. <laughs> that you receive his word through this anointed vessel. Yes. You know, don't just come and uh, and and critique the pastor, this person. <laughs> I'm an anointed vessel of God, and he's using me to bring this word to you. Yeah. So if you're judging, it's time you stop. It's time to participate. How do I participate? Yeah. You participate by taking notes. Right. Lord, you're speaking through this man of God. You're speaking through. You're speaking through this anointed man of God. 
Amen. And this anointed word is going to come out and it's going to bless you and change you if you receive it. Amen. If you're too busy critiquing, guess what? You're not going to receive anything. <laughs> Woo, come on. Amen. That was free. <laughs> God wants us to love, commit, submit, and serve him with passion daily. Not just once in a while. I wrote something here I saw, and I want you to listen to this. And have you read it before? And this applies to all of us. God wants full custody of his children. Huh. <laughs> Not weekend visits. All right. <laughs> Amen. Uh -huh. So guess what? Listen, I wrote this myself. Be a full-time Christian. Not just part-time. You know what? The devil is full-time. And a part-time Christian is no man to a full-time devil. Amen. So you need to be full time. Amen. Quit playing games. Quit playing around. The enemies for real. Yes. But the word is more real. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Stay enthusiastic. Stay excited, motivated, zealous. I like that. Uh -huh. It says we're more excited about the coronavirus. We're more excited about the vote that's coming up. The voting is coming up. Mm -hmm. We're more enthused about the, hey, guess what? <laughs> Hurry up past the 12 o'clock. Uh, the Cowboys are beyond. Oh, <laughs> Whatever no. time they play, I don't know. <laughs> but <laughs> guess what? NFL is back. Uh, football is back. So, wow, we're more enthused about those things. Amen. We're more enthused about uh, anything else but Jesus. Oh, oh no, not about oh, Jesus. Hey, oh, no. <laughs> we got to stay enthused. Stay. Say stay. Stay. Stay enthusiastic, excited, motivated and zealous for God. Amen? Yes. You know, when people see this, they'll see you coming and they'll see a smile and it's just going to open them up. Amen. Amen. It's just going to open them up. I've got something else I want to read to you. All right. It talks about being kind. Uh -huh. It says, you never know because we're going to be talking about word, the word of God, uh -huh. your words. Amen? It says, you never know how long your words uh -huh. will stay in someone's mind even after you have uh, forgotten about them and you have spoken and you forgot about them. Huh. But guess what? You don't know how long those seeds, you know, words are seeds. Yes. They're containers and they yes, carry they good or bad. But you know, you spoke it, somebody heard it, uh -huh. and it's going to stay there for a long, long time. Yeah. You may forget about it, but they won't. Make it a point to say something positive. Make it a point to say something kind to someone today. It says, Something about them they never heard. They never hear often. Amen. Something about them they never hear often. You know, everybody's been put down and been spoken down to and said bad things about them, But they never hear anything kind yeah. anymore. Yeah. Be kind. Listen, kindness makes a big difference. Yes, it does. Kindness opens a door. Yeah. Yeah. How are you going to share Jesus with somebody and you're acting like a devil? Huh. Come on, <laughs> come on. Talking to Christians now. <laughs> uh -huh. Amen. Did you get that? Yeah. This is awesome. Be kind. Mm -hmm. He says, "Be holy because I'm holy. Be kind because I am kind." Amen. Yeah. <clears throat> Woo. Hallelujah. You happy yet? <laughs> oh yeah. Psalms 18, 118, 24. Everybody knows this, but listen. This is your first miracle of the day. Uh -huh. This is the new day the Lord has made. Yes. Yeah says we some translation says we uh -huh. some say i will rejoice and be glad in it mm -hmm. but you don't understand uh bad weather outside yeah. you don't understand oh i got it it's monday morning you don't understand the circumstances mm -hmm. you don't understand what's going on it doesn't matter the word of god says i will rejoice and be glad in it glad in. amen listen to this be stay passionate enthused excited motivated about a new day to serve him. Yes. Amen. About a new day to serve him. First thing you can say is thank you for waking me up. Yeah. That yeah. was the big miracle. <laughs> you open your eyes and he's right there. He yes. woke you up. Say thank you. Thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. <laughs> I'm excited about serving you today. Are you? You know, some of us wake up every day and say, oh, no, another day. Mm. <laughs> you know, we're confessing the bad things from the time we wake up. Yeah. Amen. <clears throat> so you have to be careful. St. Corinthians 5.17 says this. All those of you that have accepted Christ this morning. Therefore, if anyone, that's me, is in Christ, he yes. is 
a new creation. New creation. All things have passed away. Behold, yes. all things all have things. become new. Amen. All things, all things <laughs> are now you're passionate, enthused, excited, motivated about a new day uh -huh. and a new life in serving Him. Yes. So guess what? You've accepted Christ and the past is gone. He's forgotten about it. He's forgiven you. But you haven't forgiven yourself. And you're still holding it against yourself. Let it go. You know, people are holding it against you. <laughs> you know, let it go. Sometimes, you know, we need to change friends. No. I told you this so many times already, but I asked the Lord to help me with my enemies. And guess what? I started losing friends. <laughs> Maybe he's going to line you up with people that yeah. will help you with the net, your destiny, uh -huh. with your future. Amen. All those pieces of the puzzles, you know, that, yeah. that are there for your life to fulfill, complete your life, are there for you. Amen. So, <clears throat> let me read it to you again. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. This is New King James. Therefore, if anyone, me, is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Yeah. Behold, all things have become new. Okay. So now, I am passionate, enthused, excited, motivated about a new day he's given me. Yeah. About a new life he's <laughs> given me. The yeah. past is gone. So press on with Him. Amen. And you know what the Bible says? You can do all things through Christ all who strengthens you. Amen. Amen. So forget the past. Forget about who said what. You know, God says, I've forgiven you. Uh -huh. I've forgotten about it. Let's press <laughs> on. Let's complete what I sent you to do. Sent you to do. Amen. Matthew 20 and 28 in the NIV says, The Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and uh -huh. to give His life as a ransom for many. Yes. Amen. He was excited to come. And he gave his life. Amen. Yes, he did. Mark 11, 45 says in the NIV also, Even the Son of Man did not come to serve, but to serve. Did not come to be served, but to serve. Amen. So we should be motivated. Amen. Amen. Because he's our greatest example. And he's showing us. So we need to be imitators of him. So it's okay to serve. Amen. <laughs> Don't be... Don't, don't hold back. Say, well, hey, you know, hey, I'm the president of the company. Yeah. You know, I work over here all the time. So when I come here, you know, I just expect to be served. Mm. Well, you got the wrong uh. attitude. <laughs> you got the wrong attitude. If Jesus yeah. can serve, so can we. Yeah. Amen. Colossians 3, 23 and 24. You're going to hear this a whole lot. So get ready for it. Amen. It says in the New King James, and whatever you do, do it heartily. Passion, with passion, with enthusiasm, with excitement, with motivation, as to the Lord and not to men. Amen. Verse 24 says, knowing that the Lord will get, will receive your reward and the inheritance for you serve the Lord Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You serve in him. So if you're judging people and you're being ugly to people, guess what? Uh, you don't have the right attitude. That's right. Said so if you're going to do it, it says do it as if you're doing it under Him. Yeah. Amen. You know when you do, when you're kind and being nice and being Christ-like, they're going to remember that. They're going to yeah. see that. There's something different about this person, yeah. about this man, this woman, whatever, this child, whatever. Uh -huh. Something different about him. And they want to know. They want to get through it. And find out what yeah. what is it. Right. So whatever you do, do it heartily as unto the Lord. Being yeah. enthused, being passionate, being excited. Uh -huh. Because you're doing it unto him. Because you serve the Lord Christ. Amen. That's what the word of God says. Yes. Amen. Hebrews 6, 11, 6 10, King James. For God is not unjust to forget your works and labor and love. Which you have shown towards his name. And what you have ministered to the saints. And do minister. And if you're going to minister. Guess what? Passion with passion. Yes. Enthused. Excited and motivated. Yeah. Guess what? When I'm doing it. God's not going to forget what I've done. That's right. Because I'm ministering to his people. Yes. So. He don't forget. We forget. Uh -huh. Amen. Woo. All these scriptures. You mark these down. You go find them for yourself. And you look at different translations. Ephesians 6, 7, and 8. New, New Living Translation says, Work with 
enthusiasm as though you were working for the Lord rather than for people. Rather, remember that the Lord will reward each one of us for the good we do, mm -hmm. whether we are slaves or free. Yeah. Amen. So now, this is what I did. <laughs> work with enthusiasm, work with passion, work with excitement, work with motivation mm -hmm. as unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he's not going to, he says, remember your, uh, that the Lord will reward each one of us. You can scratch us and put your name right there. Mm -hmm. He's going to reward you. Says, Lord, this is what your word says. So I know you won't forget. Mm -hmm. And you won't forget. So you can put your name right there. Mm -hmm. For the good we do, whether we are slaves or free. So, and you're going to hear me say this many times. We're more passionate for the world. Mm -hmm. And we're more passionate to pleasing people. All right. Amen. Than we are pleasing God. Mm -hmm. You see, I wrote something here. It says, we get more passionate, more excited, more enthused, motivated, serving the world and people than we do Jesus. Mm -hmm. What was that Come scripture on. at? Ephesians what? Ephes uh, Ephesians chapter 6, verses 6 and 7. Oh, okay. And before that was Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10. Mm -hmm. And before that was Colossians chapter 3, verse 23 and 24. Romans 12, 11, New Living Version says, don't be lazy, no. but always work hard. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we're always trying to work hard to impress yeah. our, our employer. <laughs> Maybe. But it says, don't be lazy. Do not be lazy. Uh -huh. But always work hard. Work for the Lord with a heart full of love, mm -hmm. full of compassion, yeah. full of enthusiasm, full of excitement, full of motivation for Him. Yeah. No slack. When we love, what we love, we serve with passion. What we love, we serve with excitement. Mm. Amen. What we love, we, we serve with motivation. Mm. And of course, sometimes we do it when people are watching. Uh. So for the world and people, we do it with all these things I just mentioned. Mm. You know, because we want them... Uh, to pay us more. We want them to uh, come give us a pat on the back. We want them to uh, promote us. Mm -hmm. But all this, promotion comes from God. Yeah. Amen. Promotion comes from God. If we just do what he tells us to do, mm. everything will be fine. Don't let Satan or the world or anyone hold it mm -hmm. against you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Or motivate you in the wrong way. Amen. It says, get passionate about every new day he gives you. Psalm yes. 118, 24. Yes. Amen. Get passionate. Get in, uh, enthused, excited, motivated about the new day he's given you. Mm -hmm. Get passionate about the new thing God wants to do in your life. Yes. Yes. Amen. God is using you. You're just a vessel. Mm -hmm. I'm a child of God and he's using me to do these things. Big or small, it doesn't matter. Right. God is using you. That's right. Praise God. You know, just like Satan can use people, mm -hmm. God wants, we just change partners. Yeah. Now, God is my partner. Amen. Jesus is my partner. He yes. says, get passionate about the new ways God wants to use you. Uh -huh. He wants to use you in different ways. You know, mm -hmm. he wanted to use Moses in different ways. Moses says, I can't do it. Mm -hmm. I ain't qualified. We start telling God all these things that we're unqualified <laughs> to do. But you know what? He doesn't qualify. Let me see. He qualifies. He doesn't qualify the people. He qualifies the call. Yes. yes. Amen. He qualifies the call. Uh -huh. If he's called you, it's already qualified. Yeah. 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 Amen. It's already qualified. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so praise God. Mm -hmm. Also, I want you to know this because you don't know this, but I want you to know this very much. <laughs> beware of. <laughs> always beware of. Passion, passion killers. killers. Oh <laughs> Beware <laughs> of dream killers. Dream you ever go share your, 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 your vision busters, mission uh -huh. busters, or vision killers? Yes, you yes. know, you go share with somebody mm -hmm. and they'll say, Oh, you can't do that. Oh. You're not qualified. Mm -hmm. You go share with somebody else, and because 
they're too lazy to do it for themselves. Yeah, yeah. They're going to make sure that you don't do it either. Yeah. So they're just going to kill all your plans right then. Yes. And, and, and if, if you yeah. allow them to and believe them, you'll end it right there. Mm -hmm. But don't let those things uh, stop you. That's right. Amen. People, distractions, the world, don't let these things yes. stop you. Right. Amen. So always beware of passion killers, dream oh. killers, mission killers, people mm -hmm. that want to steal your love, mm -hmm. your plans, your joy, your peace, your mm -hmm. smile. Mm -hmm. Why are you smiling? It's not a good day. It's overcast. You shouldn't have a smile on your face. You should be having a frown on your face. You know, some of us need to put a smile on our face. Of course, it's hard as tell with uh with a mask on but mm. <laughs> <laughs> i love to smile amen smiling is good for you joy of the lord says joy of the lord is your strength yes it is smile <laughs> john 10 10 says what the thief comes to steal but to kill yeah, and destroy. destroy jesus says i've come that you might have life and life more amen. abundantly yes. amen come on now the enemy wants to steal you. And you know what? He'll use people. He'll use anything mm -hmm. to try to steal whatever. Yeah. Okay? Your your, your plans, your mission, yep. your dreams, your That's love, it. your joy, your peace, your smile. Yes. yes. Amen. He don't want anything good coming from you or happening to you. Woo. Come on now. Preach and bring you amen. Amen. Renew your mind. Replace the negative thoughts with the positive thoughts. Yes. Man, we can't get this enough. Mm. Uh, well, I'm done. I'll tell you this. I'll share this with you in a minute. But it says control. Here we go. Control the tongue. Yeah. Control your words. It's saying, let's let's go there. Uh, Proverbs Proverbs eighteen twenty one. Mm -hmm. You should have this highlighted. You should have this <laughs> underlined, and no. you should know this by now in different <laughs> different translations. No. Amen. Mm -hmm. And Proverbs is right before. Ecclesiastes and right after Psalms. <laughs> Eighteen twenty one starts off with what? Yeah. Death and life are what? In the power of the tongue. Or in the power of your words. Mm -hmm. Words have power. Jesus or God says, He sends his word out and yeah. it accomplishes what I said they got to do. Yeah. Amen. That's how powerful words are. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we just shoot words like nothing. Mm -hmm. We don't think of it. No. But, you know, <laughs> let your words be positive and not negative. Right. Amen. They carry a positive or a negative. They carry life or death. Mm -hmm. So you be careful. <clears throat> mm -hmm. It's telling us right here. Verse 21. Uh, death and life are in the power of the tongue or word, and they that love it shall... Uh, Shall eat the fruit thereof, amen. So you just you just beware and be careful. Uh, another thing is change this thinking or bad thinking yeah. from negative to positive. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, I had a lot of things I wanted to say, but I didn't. Why? Because it wasn't good. Yeah. So just hold it to yourself and keep yeah. it keep it to yourself. <laughs> Those are seeds I don't want to plant. Yeah. If you want to sow seeds, good seed, sow good seeds, not bad yeah. seeds. Because those good seeds grow and bad seeds grow. Yes, they but do. they're going to grow in your life. That's it. Your okay, in this garden uh -huh. right here. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're not going to grow anywhere else. They're going to grow here. And then you want to say, <laughs> what happened? Huh. Well, you couldn't hold the tongue. Mm -hmm. You couldn't control the tongue. You just let it go. And you have to blast it out. You cannot do that. No. Let go, here's another one, let go of the past. No, no. History is gone. Let it go. No. Amen. Hurts, guilt, griefs, mm. grudges, bad memories, bad relationships, or anything that tries to hold you back. Uh -huh. All these things are meant to steal, kill, destroy. That's it. That's Amen. It. So you have to be careful. Yes, let those go. <laughs> the word of God says let them go. Yeah. Amen. It's a new life. Yes. It's a new day. New day. Amen. Thank you, Don't worry about yesterday. Today has got enough worries about itself. Yes. But you know what? It says, cast all your cares on me. Mm -hmm. Cast all your anxieties on yes. me because I care for you. That's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. We try to do his job and our job and we fail at both. Mm 
<laughs> Press on, passionate believer. <laughs> Go forward and not backwards. Amen. That's we do right. much better. You know, he's made us all the armor of God is protecting the front, not the back. <laughs> so we don't quit. We don't turn around and, and, and run. That's right. All the armor of God is protection from the front, not the yes. back. <laughs> so we're not going to turn around. We're not going to run. Beware of the companies you keep. All right. And the words you speak. Amen. Clean it, clean it up. It's time to clean it up. Okay? What? <laughs> Remember, give no place to the devil. That's right. When you give place, how do I give place? Huh. You give place by the words you speak. Yeah, yeah. Amen? By the words you speak. So, yeah. you know what? You, you spoke and the enemy comes in. Uh -huh. You cracked the door, he came in. Yeah. You know what happens when you get a devil a ride? Oh! You'll yeah. want to drive. You'll want to drive. And he's going to want to drive your life for sure. Mm -hmm. So you got to be careful. And sometimes you don't know when to get off mm -hmm. until you tell him to get out. Yeah. The Bible says, submit yourself to God, mm -hmm. resist, resist the, devil, the devil, and he will flee. Yes. But sometimes we hold him too long. Mm -hmm. And we go, we let him drive too long. <laughs> <laughs> we gave him a ride. He's driving now. Oh. And we're just riding. Mm -hmm. But sometimes we ride too long. Yeah. We got to get rid of it now. Get rid of it. Amen. Remember not to give place to it. That's right. uh, Ephesians 4, 27. Very short scripture says, King James says, neither give place to the devil. Yeah. If he's telling us to not give place to the devil, guess what? Because you're in control. Right. And if you're submitting yourself to him, he's going to come in. How? Mm -hmm. By the words you speak. Uh -huh. Maybe by the companies you speak. Or you hold, you have. Neither uh, the easy to read version says this: Don't give the devil a day, a way to defeat you. Mm. We're allowing the enemy to come in, mm -hmm. and he's going to defeat you. Yeah. Don't give the enemy a way to defeat you. That's right. Amen. <clears throat> so you be careful. Yes. And here's uh, James four seven. I just shared with you. Submit yourself therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee. Huh. That's the King James. But you have to submit. Yeah. Therefore, submit yourself, therefore, to God. Right, right. I'm letting Lord be Lord of my life. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I'm submitting to Him. And I'm going to resist. You know, <laughs> He did what He did. Jesus yeah. did what He did. But He gave us authority. Now we have to use that authority. Yeah. So I have to resist Him. You know, if you've been sitting there waiting for God to do it for you, the devil ain't going nowhere. Huh. You have to do it. Yeah. Amen. You have to speak the word of God. Yes, you do. You can study it, meditate on it, and get it in you. You got to make that deposit, uh -huh. but you got to do a withdrawal, and you got to let it out. Yes. It says, out of your innermost beings yes. shall flow rivers of rivers. living water. Yes. Let it out. Yes. You got to speak it out yes. in order for it Thank to be effective. Are. Amen. And when you speak it out, it says, resist them. Mm -hmm. Satan, I take authority over you, mm -hmm. and I resist you in the name of Jesus. Yes. And what's he going to do? He's going to flee from you. You know, uh -huh. flee is not just walk away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> flee means uh -huh. he's going to just blast off uh -huh. and run from you. Amen. You know, we need to remember this. When we're walking with him, when we have him in our lives, and we're serving him with yeah. passion, with yeah. enthusiasm, yeah. and with excitement, yes. and uh, what's the other one? Motivation yeah. and zeal. Mm. When the enemy sees you, you know what he sees? Uh -huh. He sees Jesus. Yes. He Thank sees you Jesus. Are. You know when David, when uh, Goliath saw David, <laughs> he saw he saw God. You know God was with him. He knew God was backing him. Mm -hmm. Amen. And and. and and, and David knew God was with him. Mm -hmm. You know, he didn't have no fear. He ran to meet the giant. You know, on a daily basis, when you run out to the world, know that God is with you. Mm -hmm. And God is with God is backing you. Mm -hmm. Amen. So no giants out there. You shouldn't fear no giants out there. That's right. Amen. And there's lots of giants out there. Oh, but yeah. guess what? Greater is he that sent me. Yes. Another thing I saw, I shared with you, and you've heard it before. It says... <laughs> Don't tell your God how big your storm is. Mm. Tell your storm how big your God is. Yes. 
Amen. How big your giant. Mm -hmm. Don't tell God about how big your giant is. He's already given you authority. Mm -hmm. Now you let this giant know how big your God is. Mm -hmm. Amen. Use this yeah. word. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Woo! Praise God. Praise God. Keep the new you stirred up. Yes. Stay stirred up. Yeah. With a passion. With enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. With excitement. With motivation. Amen. For God as you serve him daily. Man, you can't get away from that. That's right. That's our message. You know, be excited to serve him. Yes. But you got to keep yourself stirred up. If yes. you don't keep yourself stirred up, nobody will. Huh. Hey Amen. You start feeling sorry and you start letting the world get in you. Uh, uh, guess what? You're just going to feel sorry. We're going to get that in a few minutes. But mm. here we go. Stay passionate for him. Stop the pity parties. Oh boy. Me, myself, and I. No. are the only ones on your interest list. <laughs> you only invited me, myself, and I. And guess what? We're going to have a sad time. Mm. And we're going to have a defeated time. Oh, gosh. Amen? Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Uh -huh. You're a new creature in Christ. Yes. I'm a can-do person. Yeah. That's it. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yeah. You got to keep yourself stirred up. You got to yes. confess the word. Yes. If the word of God is in you, speak it out. Guess what? Yes. Yeah. I'm a child of God. Yeah. So praise God. I'm speaking the word. That's it. it. says, oh, stop the oh, poor me attitude. <laughs> <laughs> I know you've never been there, but I'm talking about me. <laughs> you are a winner. Yes. You're a champion. You can do all things through Christ. All things. Amen. Amen. So. You got to remember these things. Keep yourself yes. stirred up because you know what? If you don't renew your mind with the Word of God, uh -huh. the world is going to drain you. Oh, yeah. And you're going to start thinking like the world. Mm -hmm. If you're not feeding on the Word mm -hmm. and you're not renewing your mind with the Word, mm -hmm. you're going to start thinking like the world does. All right. And you're going to be weak. Yes. And you're going to be just open for the enemy to come have yeah. his way. Yeah. Amen. You're going to be open for any friend or enemy or person to come and just have their way with you. Yes. Amen. So you got to stop that. Stop saying life is unfair to me. Mm. <laughs> I'm unlucky. I'm bad luck. Oh my bad God. luck follows me everywhere oh, I go. Jesus. Stop saying those things. <laughs> <laughs> luck, lucky, didn't, uh, shouldn't be, shouldn't be in a believer's vocabulary. Mm, that's it. Amen. I am blessed. Yes. Amen. I am blessed by the best. Amen. Amen. I am blessed by the best. And we should be uh changing the th the way we uh the way the way we uh talk. Yes. I know some of you have this, some of you that are watching, some of you that are listening. I encourage you daily to send your words out in a positive direction. Yeah. Speaking positive confessions over your life by choosing to change your say-sos. Yes. I am saying, what am I saying? Am I saying something bad, something negative? Or am, am I saying something positive? Yeah. Amen. Listen, let your say-sos be. I am blessed. Mm -hmm. Quit talking about yourself. You know, the world's already put putting you down. Mm -hmm. Your friends are pushing you down. Speak to yourself. Encourage yourself. Yes. I am blessed. I am a winner. Yeah. <laughs> this is what the word of God says about you. When you get in the word, it's the truth. And that truth is going to set you free when you yes. start speaking those words. Yes. I am strong. I am healthy. I am talented. I am creative. Yes. I am faithful. <laughs> I am focused. I am valuable. Yes. Amen. I am an overcomer. I am more than a conqueror. Yes. I am well liked. Amen. <laughs> I am fun to be around. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the right people are in my future. Yes. Thank you, Lord. The right opportunities are heading my way. Yes. Amen. Why not speak these things instead of the negative things? Let them know how they can get one of those if they want a list. Okay. I will accomplish my dreams. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I will overcome any obstacles. This is my year to break through. Yes. You know, all the time saying these negative things, putting ourselves down, you know, just 
stopping whatever missions we have, you know. I can do all things through Christ. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Yeah. Some of these are the right things to say, and the, the, the word of God is full of these things. Amen. Yes. We put these out. Amen. Our church put this out, and uh, want you to have one. Just let us know. Yeah. It says, when you begin to say your positive say-sos, your life will never be the same. That's it. God will bless you beyond your wildest dreams. Mm -hmm. Get ready for God to do the impossible in your life. Amen. Be blessed as you serve Him daily. Amen. Ooh. Hallelujah. Amen. This is awesome. If that didn't uh, excite you, <laughs> nothing will. But you know, change your say so's. Yes. Maybe we can post it on the website. Okay. Uh, change your say so's. You know, uh, I'm not just going to speak negative because I'm trying to impress those around me. I'm going to speak what the Word of God says, no matter who's around me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Here's another one I want to read to you about speaking faith-filled words. Speak faith-filled words. If you want to start seeing the power of God manifest in your life, pay attention to the words you speak. Yeah. If yeah. you're going to live a victorious life, you must speak faith-filled words and declare what God says yes. about your situation. Amen. What He says about your situation. Mm -hmm. You can do all things through Christ, no matter how unqual you, unqualified you feel, mm -hmm. Jesus promised to strengthen and enable you. Yes. Speak the word over your situation. Mm -hmm. Magnify your God and not the problem Amen. and not the situation. Declare you're an overcomer through him. Anyone can be positive when things are going well. Uh -huh. But the way you respond when trouble comes will make or break you. Yeah. What you say in the midst of your difficulties will have a direct impact on your outcome. Yeah. Don't look at the facts of your situation. Mm. Look at the truth of God's word. Yes. Declare his truth over your situation until a fact lines up with his word. Amen. Make this decision daily to speak faithful words over your situation mm -hmm. and live a victorious life. Amen. Amen. It's time to make a change. Amen. Yes. It's time to make a change. That's a daily, daily thing. Amen. Yes. So praise God. praise God. It says... If bad things are happening, <laughs> Christian, if bad things are happening, check your Christian walk. No. <laughs> check your priorities. Mm -hmm. Check your words and your actions. Uh -huh. Check for sin. Sin opens the door for Satan to slide in. Yeah. Ah, I left the door open. So you go back, confess your sin, and get it out. Yeah. And the door is closed again. So zip the lip, mm. put a guard, and don't say those things again. Mm. Well, I just have to say it. No, you don't no, have to say don't. it. Jesus could have said all, all kind of bad things, but he didn't. Right. He guarded his word and said, Father, help me. Give me strength. Yeah. Yeah. If Jesus asked the Father for help, guess what? We could do the same thing. Yes, we can. Lord, I need you. You know, all the disciples, all the Bible heroes that you read about in the Bible, I've got news I want to share with you. Yeah. They weren't perfect. That's right. <laughs> Amen. But they made themselves available to God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And God used them. Yeah. Amen. So remember that only perfect person was Jesus. That's it. Amen. He was the only perfect person. So all these Bible heroes were not perfect. That's right. But you know they confessed. They got all that out. And... God used them in a mighty way. Amen. And he wants to use you as well. Yeah. Amen. So if somebody told you something, neg something negative about God not using you anymore, just ask God's forgiveness and press on and yeah. then forget about that person. That's it. <laughs> Passion is, I'm glad you asked, passion is what motivated the church into action mm -hmm. and in serving. Amen. Passion is what caused the apostles to boldly go and follow Jesus. Passion is what caused Christ to spend late nights, hours preparing to complete his mission with passion, spending time with his Father. Yeah. Passionately. Passion is what uh, takes a normal person from being an a, a, a average person no. and making them into a yeah. supernatural 
believer. Mm -hmm. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Praise Amen. God. Thank you, Praise Lord. God. Uh, you, ready to complete his mission. Amen. Ready for action. Mm -hmm. Amen. You are a child of God. You are a winner. You are yeah. a champion. And you are a mighty warrior for God. Yeah. See yourself that way. Amen. Amen. Don't see yourself the way the world sees you. That's right. See yourself the way God sees God you. Amen. Sees you. <laughs> you got to have this passion. You got to have this excitement. Uh -huh. You got to have uh, this motivation. Amen. Then serving Him on a daily basis. Amen. Not just when things are going good, you know, but you make it better by serving Him and speaking His word. Amen. Yes. You speak to those giants and let them know how big your God is. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So praise God, we all have those. Yep. And here's uh, Mark 12 and um, 12 30 says, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, yes. and with all your strength. Nothing yes. matters more than that. Amen. Amen. Love your God. The number one thing in your life, what do we do? Mark Matthew 6 33 says, uh, Seek ye first the kingdom of God kingdom of and his righteousness, and all these other things shall be added unto you. Yes. Seek him first. Get your priorities in order. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Thank the Lord. Woo! Nothing else matter in life. If you don't love God passionately, God doesn't want us to love him half-heartedly. Not second best, but first. Yes. He wants us to love him with all our heart, yes. with all our soul, with all our mind, and with all our strength. Yes. All means all. all. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Jesus is saying he wants you to live passionately for him. Yes. Jesus, our greatest example of living a passionate life. Amen. If he was not living a passionate life, he would have never made it. Amen. But he yes. needed his father's strength to yes. continue. Because he came and he served as a man. But still, he knew the reach and, and, uh, and, and, and talk to the father, pray to the father. Amen. Yes. So, yes. <clears throat> we, must, we must do the same thing. Yes. Amen. So, I want you to put it some muscle into or some energy in serving him. All right. Woo, some emotions in your relationship with him. Don't be a wimp about your relationship. Don't be half-hearted. Give it all you've got. Give it your best. If you're going to follow mm -hmm. me, he says, go with the passion. Amen. Go with the passion. Praise yeah. God. <laughs> yeah. ah, give it some move. You know, some get up and go. Give it yeah. some spark. Amen. Amen. Be that spark. Be that fire for somebody, you know, not you, Quark. He says, be hot, be cold, but not lukewarm. I'm not going to be a part-time person. That's right. Amen. Keep that spark going. Keep that fire going. Give it some enthusiasm. Give it some gusto. Amen. The Bible tells us that we are to seek Him passionately, love God passionately, serve Him and obey Him passionately, and trust Him passionately. Amen. So, let's remember this. Amen. We'll stop there. We got a whole bunch to go, but still... Amen. Amen. I want us to serve him daily with uh, enthusiasm, with excitement, with motivation, amen, with zeal. Amen. So let's remember that as child of God. Amen. amen. Be strong in him. So praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Thank you, Lord, for your word. I pray that you let it in and let it do a work in you. Amen. And none of us are perfect. But still, we need Him to fulfill what He's called yes. us to do. Amen? So, let's remember that. Amen. So, praise God. If uh, you never asked Jesus, we said it in the beginning, but if you never asked Jesus in your heart, now's the time. You're a child of God. You're a winner. You're a champion. And you can do all things through Christ. But you know what? You need Him in your life. You're no match to this world. You're no match to the enemy. That's right. Amen. All you have to do is say, Lord Jesus, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and thank you. Yes. Amen. And this is for you. Amen. You didn't tune in just for by, by accident or by mistake. You need to turn your life around. You need a breakthrough. You need Christ in your life. Amen. So receive him as your Lord and Savior and start making changes. Yes. Amen. Start reading the Word. Focus yes. or go to church wherever you 
Do they study the Word of God or tune in to some program that studies the Word? That's all we 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 teach from the Word of God. Amen. Yeah. And uh, if you have a hurt or need touch in your body or healing in your body, just touch that part in your body or lay hands on a person next to you. If uh, somebody in your family or somebody visiting with you needs a touch of healing, it says lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Yes. So we thank you, Father, for all those that are uh, yes, you, uh, watching within the sound of my voice, Father God. Just pray for your healing powers to touch them, Lord, and heal them right there where they are, Father yes. God. We thank you that by Jesus' stripes, they are healed because your yes. word says it's Lord. We thank you. Body line up with the word of God and be healed. Receive your healing now in Jesus' name. All you have to say is, I receive my healing yes. in Jesus' name. Amen. So praise God. Amen. <gasps> Woo. So we'll leave it there. And uh, it's time to give. <laughs> it's giving time. So if you're giving, the information's on the screen. NBCBigBen.com. Press that donate button, and uh, we appreciate it. And we thank you. If you uh, if you're mailing it, NBC PO Box two five two Marfa Texas seven nine eight four three. And again, we want to say thank you and God bless you. Amen. God bless you too, Pastor. Thank you. Yeah. Both of you, Pastor. <laughs> thank you. Yes.